Hello, this is Marin. This is the very first video for my project at the Media Arts Histories program of the Danube University Krems. And um, I would like to produce a four-page comic book in the pixel art style using original retro hardware from the early 90s. This is the Atari Mega STE that was introduced in 1991. I've extended its capabilities to be able to use a modern LCD display and that I can use SD cards to exchange data. This is a Frame Master, uh, an HDMI upscaler. So it takes the SCART signal, the very low-fi SCART signal from the Atari ST and converts it, upscales it to a full HD display. Now obviously the resolution here is still the original low resolution, but it can be displayed in full quality on an HD screen. The second extension that I've added here um, is a replacement for the broken floppy drive. Uh, this is a, a floppy drive emulator. That means you insert uh, an SD card that contains floppy images. These are captures of the of the floppy's content and the computer treats it just like a normal floppy disk. Now obviously an SD card can hold many floppy images, thousands of floppy images, so it will be like you have thousands of diskettes to choose from. Here uh, the Ultra Satan uh, external hard drive. So it also uses SD cards but the computer sees them as as a hard drive partitions. Now, since these are too large for the computer to recognize them uh, as a whole, I have had to partition it into multiple partitions. So we have here eight partitions in total. Then I have here uh, the art pad. This is a very old graphics tablet, but it works with the Atari ST. I haven't yet installed any drivers, but um, we're gonna get there. This here is a, a modern mouse. It is not the mouse that originally came with the Atari ST. It's an optical mouse. Uh, it's not exactly super modern because it uses a um, PS2 connector. Let me just show you here underneath the keyboard. This is the PS2 connector and this is an adapter. And finally, this here is uh, a local area network cartridge that I can use to exchange information with another computer using a LAN cable. So now that I've shown you the end state of the device, I'll walk you through the upgrade process. I am upgrading the floppy, the hard drive and the fan. And this is the GoTech drive, and this is the Ultra Satan that'll act as an external hard drive. I'm now opening the case uh, so that I can remove the internal hard drive. It is an old hard drive, uh, a spinning disk with 20 megabytes. I need to remove it carefully. Now I can take off the top case and remove the original broken floppy disk drive. This is the GoTech and it'll fit. Now I'm just removing the power cable and the data connector and attaching them to the GoTech drive. And put the metal faceplate back on and screw it into the case. But um, I need to break open part of the case because the GoTech needs a bit more space than, a, than a, a regular floppy drive. And here I am filing away the excess edges. And um, now we can see that the GoTech drive is not beautiful, but it fits. So this is the fan and I'll build it into the power supply here. Uh, carefully unscrew the power supply and um, remove it from the case. And now I can unplug the old fan, first unscrew it, and 
carefully take out the power cord and replace it with the new fan. Put that into the same position and um, we're good to go and insert it into the case again. Screw it back in and now I can reassemble the case carefully and screw it back together and I can add the empty hard disk cover back again. So this is the Ultra Satan, I'm connecting it. This is the Frame Meister, and these are all the cables. This is a monitor, switcher, there's a SCART cable and a converter, a converter for the converter. And this is the monitor that I'll like to use. And I'm just gonna configure everything, plug it all in and um, get it all in place. This is the keyboard. And here is the old port. This is a PS2 port with a connector and the mouse is now connected. This is the local Aaron network cartridge. Stick it into the side. And finally the art pad. And now let's see if the device turns on correctly. Et voila, there it is. So this was a walkthrough of the upgrade process to get to this end state. Now that I've got my equipment in place and my tools all configured, I can start with the actual comic book project. Thank you.